What's up guys, welcome back to another video here at Corner Balanced. If you're new to the channel, hit that, just kidding. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, do whatever you want. But we are going to be breaking down this NSX behind me. Before we get into the NSX, here's a quick update on my Porsche build. I just installed a bunch of stuff like this. Yes. And as you guys can probably tell, we're posted up in a back alley in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of illegal, uh, but it's all good because I scanned the area for Babylon. I think we're safe. As you can see, there are a bunch of ambulances behind us. But let's go ahead and not waste time and get right into it. So we got the man himself, guys? Anthony. How's it going? What's your uh, IG handle? The Rub Doctor. So pause. What's the context for that? For people Rub Doctor. Know all right. So if you guys don't know what I do, uh, I do all the fender rolling in the Bay Area. I take care of the rubbing issues. Um, hence the name, the Rub Doctor. Wasn't something else. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, it's funny because like some people would like ask me, like, "What's the Rub Doctor? You a masseuse?" And I'm like, I kind of masseuse for cars. Yeah. I kind of like you know tell people I'll give them a happy ending. Damn. Holy. Sh Big Draco. Uh, Woo! <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Anyway, just kidding. let's keep this PG rated. I'm just kidding. Uh, you know? Back, back to the car. Back to the NSX. <laughs> Sick whip, by the way. Finally, thank you, thank you. appreciate done. it. Yeah, no, dude, for sure. It's finally done. I mean, it's, it's been a long two and a half years. It went down November 2017. Pulled the engine out, and uh, it, that was the start of the, the I guess this edition of the rebuild. Um, it's been a crazy roller coaster. Two engines, two paint jobs, um, and. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of emotions. Uh, for a good time, this was a table in the garage. It's you know, it was a table. You know, with the cloth over it, all the parts and boxes just laying all all Ornaments. over it. Yeah, pretty much, man. It was a pretty expensive table at the time. So this is a 1992 Acura NSX. Um, it was originally Grand Prix white, um, but since I had the engine out and I had acquired uh, so these these wheels, which I had spec'd for a wider tire, which in turn led me to needing wider front fenders. So I obviously needed those painted. And then during the time that I was just chilling, you know, waiting for this thing to get done, I picked up some new sky skirts, a new diffuser. Um, and when I decided to paint it, I had the engine out already and I needed a few, pretty much half the car needed work, body work. And at that time I was like, you know what? Engine's out, let's change the color. I know a lot of NSX guys are hating me for painting in Grand Prix white, but whatever, man, I'm not selling this thing. <laughs> so when we talk about like a, like sort of a spectrum for NSXs, yeah. there's like on the left-hand side of the Pierce, you mm -hmm. don't touch anything. Yep. You gotta keep it to the way Senna <laughs> made it from the factory. But yeah. with this car, it's all about the experience, man. The driving experience. Damn. I love this thing. <laughs> I feel it, I feel it. So let's get into this thing. Yeah, let's do it. Um, let's start from the back, I mean, okay. since we're right here. All right, so what I guess got? what you got here, um, these taillights are um, done by Lumisthetic. Um, out here in Fremont, um, they do, uh, you know, just did a custom design. They, they built it together. Um, I can get the that sort of uh, emergency lights too. Yeah, it yeah. is. Ooh, look at that. Yep. That, and then I'll, I'll hit the brakes too, so I can see it. Very nice. The wing is APR, APR GTC 300 with their three or. Four I don't know, I think this is the three inch risers. Um, and then I got uh, downforce, rear garnish, dolly racing rear diffuser, uh, pride exhaust. Wait, what's a rear garnish? This, thing, this plate garnish. Oh, that? Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. a garnish. Um, anyways, I got that. Um, got the pride exhaust, I mean, since we're down here already, got the pride exhaust, uh, uh, lightweight exhaust, the pride resonated test pipes, Comtech headers. Um, and then, you know, the rest of the engine build. Um, right here, we also have the JDM center tail light. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Mm -hmm. What's that diffuser made of? Is it all uh, um, carbon? The side is carbon. The center, I think, is aluminum. Oh, the black piece here? Yeah, okay. the black piece is aluminum, I believe. Got it. Yeah. So what made you go with this exhaust? Um, it sounded really good. Yeah. I heard it on a, another NSX owner's uh, car, 
it was a combination of the headers, the exhaust, and the resonated test pipes. It had a distinct sound. You were part of the Big Wang gang, huh? <laughs> yeah, Big Wang gang, dude. Amazing. Got so to. this thing's like what, level to the... Uh, to the I guess uh, you could say it's, it's kind of level to the roofline. It's what I like. All right, so talk to us about the wheels. All right, so these are the Workmeister L1s. Uh, I remember when I first saw these come out, I was like, yo, these will look awesome on the NSX. It's a uh, 19 by 10 and a half plus 25 in the back with a 275-30 on it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it, it's good for a stock fender. Nice and flush, you got yeah. some camber back here too, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, it's just all natural camber. Okay. It's okay. You know. So, since we're kind of talking about the ride height a little bit mm -hmm. and alignments, mm -hmm. uh, what do you got for your coilovers? Uh, just BCs with stance cups. And it's standard on the NSXs. These things, I'm not sure if you want to step back a little bit, I can, I can show the cups. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, the cups there are... Uh, Damn, that went up pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, how's that thing work? It's a piston that sits on top of the spring and under the top hat. So ah. when you hit a button, the valve opens and releases the air into the cup and expands the cup, compressing the spring and expanding the shock. So in turn, you, imagine your car off, uh, on a lift at full droop. If it's at full droop, that's pretty much the height you're going to get, right. which is what this is right here. Sweet. How many yeah. settings do you have? Just, Just two? up and down. Up that's and it. Down. Up okay. and down. That's it's it. Easy, it's, right? it's so useful. It's probably the one of the most useful mods I've done on this car. That's sick. Can we drop yeah. this thing back Let's down? Drop it. Yep. Oh. That's dope. <laughs> and then uh, I guess what we can go on to is the mirror setup. This is from, this is a magical racing mirror. Um, it's a company from Japan mm -hmm. that sells motorcycle mirrors. Yep. And when I saw that, first time I saw this was on a uh, Tsukuba Time Attack car out in Japan. And I asked him, I was like, yo, what mirrors are those? Because, you know, the typical ones right now are the Craft Square and Spoon mirrors. Right. Yeah, they're, they're cool. I'm not going to cool. knock on them. But I wanted to build an NSX that wasn't cookie cutter. You know, um, I wanted to you know have my own little taste and flair to it. So, went ahead and went with these. So you had to get this little block off plate. Where did that come from? Yeah, I, I had a one of my clients actually offered to, to make it for me. So I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Nothing special. I didn't want to fill it in just in case later on maybe I did come up on another mirror setup. I didn't want to have like not have that option. Front wheel specs, you know, same same wheel, but on the NSX it's double staggered. So the front is an 18 nine and a half plus 25 with a 245 35. Um, and yeah, uh, nothing crazy. It's got Adam's rotors, some pads, and I don't know. The one thing that I sort of messed up on was with these wheels, the caliper clearance isn't really that great. So if I do go BBK setup later on. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. And that's like already <laughs> right tight. on there for the stock calipers. It's tight, yeah. It's very tight. You know, I mean, I, that was the stance guy in me. You know, I wanted more lift, you know? <laughs> Especially with this, this, this design, because if you look at the face, it does stick out like a good, maybe, what's that, like inch, inch and a half? Yeah, it's and got so, like a reverse face kind of Exactly, huh? and if I didn't have a lower this low of an offset, this face would be flush with the, the lip of the wheel. And I mean, ugly. that'd be kind of cool too, like a turbo fan sort of look, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, but I've seen it, and I'm like kind of, uh <laughs> about it, you know? That's, That's why with this one, I sort of forced myself to go wide front fenders because I wanted to make sure it looked good. So what are these fenders? Uh, these ones are also Pride. Pride. Pride, same as exhaust and same as the uh, car carbon fiber in the back. You got yeah. the, uh, what, the O2 front end? Yeah, it's like O2 front end. Um, this, the previous owner of this car, I got lucky with it. He went ahead and did the conversion. Mm -hmm. um, so when I bought it, it already had the fixed headlights. And a lot of people are like, damn, I wish you had the flip ups and everything. So I did too. What? Up. You want to go back? To no, I'm just saying just, oh, for, okay, for, just for like a rainy day or something like that. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know, man. Just in case. I know. I, I, I like it. I like it. It's, just, it's, it's, it's more unique too because it's more common for the NSX to have the flip ups, you know? Yeah. So if I can have something that, you know, stands out a little more, then I'm down with it. And plus, I know I'm not like, like a big uh, NSX aficionado, mm -hmm. but I know for a fact that this conversion is really expensive. Yeah, it definitely can be. The headlights themselves are about two grand. The hood is carbon, right? Yeah, the hood is carbon. Um, it is the downforce type R hood. Um, got the carbon uh, radiator scoop in there to help drive the air from the radiator out. So this has been through two, two paint jobs while it was down in the last two and a half years. First one was a nightmare. Um, not only did it come out crappy, but the he lost a bunch of parts on my car. One of them being the wiper. He lost a wiper? <laughs> yeah, I lost my wiper. And I'm like, dude, it, at least I didn't lose my driver one. Because if I lost my driver one, I've been like, dude, what am I going to do, dude? So it wait, works. Wait. It works. So you waited like, how, wait, sorry, how long did you wait again for that paint job? That one, it, I waited six months, but I was on his, on his case about it. And I just wanted to get my car back. So I was like, eventually, he said it was done. 
but I don't know. I picked it up and just took it on and moved on to the next shop. Dude, I, like, I was following yeah, you while you were going yeah, through that journey dude, as well. Like, it sounded like just such a heartache. It was brutal, man. It was, uh, you know, lessons learned. All I could say is, you know, and you, there, there's going to be times in your life where it's going to, like, feel like you're losing everything. And, you know, situation like that. I was like, dude, how come nothing's ever going right? But you know, all, all you could do is keep focusing on your goal, getting your car done, keep moving forward, you know, put the things behind you and just learn from them. Words of wisdom so, right here. Yeah, I had to pretty much do it again. Um, thankfully, uh, my homie Lynn came around. Um, L-O-C-C -C on Instagram. Um, Lynn is the owner of Garage Works out here in Hayward. He took awesome care of my, my car and did my car right. Good job, man. At least you recover from that nightmare. Yeah. Exactly. I guess you're still missing a wiper. Yeah, I'm still oh, missing well. the wiper though. I still gotta recover. <laughs> you know, it's okay. <laughs> All right, Anthony, let's take a look at this. Wait, hold on. It's a little bit dark. What's going on? Yo, light guy. Excuse me. Can we get back over here, please? Thank you. Thank you. By the way, production budget has gone way up. We got a new corner balance intern. What's well. up? <laughs> Keep holding that light, thank you. Sweet. All right, continue. <laughs> All right, cool, so we got the interior here. Um, nothing special. I guess we'll start with the seat. It is a uh, Recaro SL4 Raptor. Okay. I like the design because it, you know, sounds like you know, something a little different. You know, it's very subtle. I tried to match it with the, the door inserts here. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, that was a- uh, Did you do this about, yourself? Yeah, it's about six-ish hours of work right there. One issue with these door panels is that the tabs like to break, you know, the 30 year old, you know, brittle tabs on the on the door panels here. Um, so one of my buddies on the NSX Sonar's group, he went ahead and created new um, door trim in carbon to replace all the tabs and everything so that I can secure my door panel. Dude, that again. is next level. Yeah, it goes all the way around and under and everything. Is it just like one big piece of carbon? Um, it's about four different pieces that bolt together. You got the bus driver wheel mod. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Bus driver wheel mod there. They got the Works Bell quick, uh, quick tilt and hub. GTC, dude. I you love know. these. That and the Jay's Racing steering wheel. So I got a 330 mil because I'm a taller guy, about six foot, and my knees would uh, hit anything bigger. And so this is a little more comfortable for me. Um, it is not the biggest cabin, but it's you know enough to fit someone who's six, six foot. Right. Try Wait, out. you don't have a tilt column in these cars? Um, I do. Yeah, I do. But it's like almost up, all the way up. And still not enough. Yeah. Got it. Exactly. Okay. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I'm not sure if you want, want to check out the mileage on that thing. I do. Damn, son. Does that say a two? <laughs> it's about, it shows 252,000, but um, it's missing about 20 because for about 20,000 miles, I had an S2000 cluster in there too. But you're almost at 300K then. Yeah, almost 300K then. It's cool. I'm trying to get up there, man. I'm trying to get three, to four, five. Mark, yeah. yeah, I mean, eventually, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> also got a uh, Kenwood head unit, um, Hertz audio uh, components in the door, and I have a 10 inch Audison sub here. As you can see, but Woo! ten inch sub right here. That. Yeah, hidden. Yeah, and it, and, and it hits Full pretty massage. hard. These are Carl four mats. I'm not sure you can't see yeah, you it. You got but, the badge or anything? Uh, yeah. On this side, I do. I think. Okay. Right here. Oh, you go through your crotch. Here, what do you want, boy? <laughs> Carl four mats. Carl. Carl. JDM. Yeah, pretty Dope. much. Yeah. Well, let me get out of your private area here. All right, cool. Oh, oh and then yeah. I guess what else you got here is we have the um, Zanardi shifter stock and the uh, Type S shift knob, titanium shift knob. Um, I have the Type S NSX, um, and then I got my Acura RL switches for my cups. This is for the light bar up front. You have a light bar? Yeah. Damn, Raptors ain't got nothing on this. <laughs> With the slide, it helps for you know like late night drives if there's no one in front of me and I want to at least just see. Right. It helps a lot. For the, you for know? the Wongon and for the toe game. <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be long. Let's pop the. Good. Le boot mon ami. <laughs> yeah. Couple of base. Yeah. Just got this here. Oh wait, you got like two trunks in this car, huh? Pretty much. Just that and then I'm not sure if it's gonna look good, but Do you got so much space in the NSX? This is unbelievable. Yeah, it's cool. Gotta have my tools and then uh, that's my tank for the cups and the compressor. How many liters is that thing? It's two gallons. Two, two gallons? Two gallons is enough for two lifts on one uh fill. It's a compressor under and then there's a switch inside the tank to sense when there's not enough air. Got it. And how long does it take to like fill it back up? Maybe a minute or two. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, nothing wow, crazy. Not bad. Nothing crazy. So. You got your, uh, my tool, man. I, 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 I gotta have my tools, dude. I have to have my tools on me just in case, you know, I gotta be prepared. You know, <laughs> it, it, I, I don't feel right if I don't have my tools on me. That's what's up. You got yeah. the right tool too. Milwaukee. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. So now that we're moving to the engine, there's a theme here going on with your car, huh, Anthony? Yeah, in terms doing... of having to do certain things twice. Yep. And one of them is the engine. Um, the, initially in 2017, uh, it started knocking. So I went ahead, pulled the engine out, sent it to a, sh a local shop. 
took them about two years to finish it. I get it back. Wait, two years? It took them two years to finish my engine. Um, I got it back, put it in, drove it 150 miles, and it started knocking again. Dude, my, my heart literally dropped. Because, like, when you're driving, I was rolling with a few NSX homies to uh, Cars and Coffee right. you know, out in Menlo Park. And we get onto 101, and all of a sudden I start hearing this weird noise coming from my engine. I'm like, Same noise they heard two years ago. I, I, I was like telling myself, it is not that same noise. It is not. Nope, nope, nope. And I just listen. <laughs> Yeah, pull off the exit, come to a stop, and I, and I go, and I'm like, F man, it's f***ing knocking. Oh <laughs> and I was like, dude, are you kidding me? And so, with this one, once it was all done, I got linked up with David and Ryan over at HQ Engineering down in SoCal. Um, they went ahead and took care of me. Um, went ahead, I pulled the engine back out, shipped it down to them, and then they had it back to me in two months. Two months versus two, months. two years. Two months versus two years. Those guys were on it. What went wrong with the first engine build? Like, what did the guy miss? So what David and Ryan found at HQ Engineering was that they were, when they were pulling it apart, they found out the, any, all the oil supply O-rings for the bottom end weren't replaced. They were flush with the squirter, so there was no oil pressure being built, which had led to you know the knocking. And David and Ryan at HQ, they went ahead and installed the AM Infinity. They installed the AM Infinity, all the new sensors, um, and went ahead and had it to, oh, fuel system as well, the new injectors, fuel pump, and brought it over to Busy Moto to have him knock out the tune on it and it runs like a dream it's solid amazing yes. any other mods to the engine other than those items um the uh so there's forged pistons um uh valve springs retainers heads are ported uh there are there's a bigger throttle body um, cams? Else? No, stock cams, dude. Stock. Cams for this car is stupid. It's like six grand. Six grand yeah. for cams? Yeah, no, no, not dog. Uh, <laughs> but what's cool about the setup now is it's ready for a boost if I ever want to. Um, I stuck with stock compression. That could because I did not know which direction I wanted to go. I could stay NA. I can go um, supercharger or turbo. Yeah, how much power are you making right now? Um, it's about 240 wheel, 200 torque. Nothing special, but. I felt it in the butt dyno, so I'm happy. <laughs> well, congrats, Anthony. Thank well, you thanks, for showing dude. us your car. It sounds like you got yourself a very nice daily driver. Yeah. To your spec, yeah, yeah. lines to the max, mm -hmm. carbon fiber everywhere mm -hmm. in the sacks, mm -hmm. no problems, mm -hmm. your color. Yep. Yeah, no, dude, I, 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 I've, I've been loving every, every bit of it, man. It's been a roller coaster, but you know, it's been a fun one. <laughs> it makes the journey fun, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, dude, I mean, it's, it's boring if, I, if, if nothing it's goes wrong. Easy. Yeah, it's too easy, it's boring. <laughs> You know, if something goes wrong, then you know that it adds excitement, that drama. Exactly. You know, that's what makes it all fun. And you got a cool story to sell too. As yeah, well. exactly. I'm a man. Thank all right, you. dude. Thanks, man, for having me. Appreciate it. Now you gotta yell, "That's a wrap!" to the camera. Like, really loudly. <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs> all right, intern, can I have my light back, please? Thank you very much for the job well done. Here's your payments for the day's work. Get that on the floor, please. Feedback on how your internship went at Corn Bouncing. Approved. I'm about to, Travis got me off this. I'm so hungry. It's been three days. <laughs> what? Travis got me off. What does that, what that, what that mean? Where did I even find that guy? I don't know, Who dog. is that guy? I don't know, dog. <laughs>